Legendary UFO researcher Leonard Stringfield investigated Hangar 18 for close to 50 years. In a rare interview just prior to his death in 1994, Stringfield told sightings that he had been able to track the progress of wreckage and alien bodies retrieved in several different parts of the Southwest. In the beginnings, uh, some of them were shipped to areas in Los Alamos in the western uh, um, sensitive areas from Albuquerque on down to Los Alamos and a whole region of New Mexico. And often time for further uh, analyses or study why they were sent to Wright-Patterson. I was told by one intelligence source here uh, some years ago <clears throat> that they had uh, 30 alien bodies underground at Wright-Patterson Field alone up to 1966. Springfield, a 40-year veteran of UFO investigations, agrees with Exler. The public must be prepared before a concept of such magnitude is introduced. And you can imagine uh, what would have happened to the stock market if something were to come out, be announced by the government or world governments as something of this nature. So they refer to it uh, officially as the cultural shock. Stringfield's interest in the UFO phenomena was piqued when in World War II he encountered what became known as Foo Fighters, mysterious balls of light in the sky that plagued and harassed pilots. Stringfield claims that the U.S. government has even recovered alien crafts and bodies and has detailed his findings in several research papers. These are firsthand bits of information from sources who have seen the craft and or the bodies in government custody. These are people who had the need to know access clearance to see the bodies, for instance, at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base or other areas, or did participate in a retrieval operation. If the government has, in fact, retrieved alien spacecraft, why haven't they released that information to the public? Obviously, if you have some extraordinary technology, uh, you don't really want someone else to know that you have that, especially if you don't know how to use it. Actually, the government has been giving us tidbits, according to Stringfield. I think there have been periods uh, where there have been attempts to um, educate the public or spoon feed, as I say, the, the public with bits of information. So if something suddenly dramatic should happen, there wouldn't be complete, you know, complete alarm. Alien technology has even been incorporated into one of our military's new toys, the stealth bomber, according to Exler.